What's up everyone, this is All I Tech, so there's rumors going around that there's going to be a new jailbreak, mainly because of the recent exploit that was created for iOS 12 all the way up to iOS 12.1.2, and currently those versions of iOS are assigned. So if you don't know what version of iOS you have, you can go ahead and check and see through settings what version you have, and you can do that by going to software update to see which one you need to update to, or you can go to your about and see it says 12.1.3. So I'm on the latest version of iOS and I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can downgrade to 12.1.1 to 12.1.2. So in this video, you're going to want to make sure you're on the lower versions of iOS because there could be a jailbreak around the corner or if you want those system-wide tweaks that I showed earlier, you can go ahead and do that if you're on these versions of iOS. So go ahead and select your device and you want to make sure it says GSM or CDMA depending on your iOS device. So if you have an iPhone 6s Plus, it might not even have it so it doesn't matter. But go ahead and choose the iOS version that you want. So you do not want 12.1.3, you're going to want 12.1.2 or the 12.1.1. So I'm personally gonna go with 12.1.2 just because I prefer that. And also you're gonna see two versions of that. So you can just choose any random one. I prefer picking the newest one, but I picked the older one for some reason. Uh, go ahead and open up iTunes, hold down option if you're on a Mac or, or hold down shift if you're on PC. I'm pretty sure it's shift. If it's not shift, try control. I haven't used a PC in a while, but go ahead and tap on check for update. But you want to hold down that button when you click it. So go ahead and search the file that you downloaded earlier in the video and you want to use that file to update and then just tap on install. Now my phone number is showing on the screen which is why I had to cut the clip but basically you'll see that my device is updating at the moment. You can see I get like this little error. You don't need to worry about that and keep in mind it looks like my finger is on the home button. You do not need the home button held for this. So if you hold down the home button while it's plugged into the computer, you actually screw up your device and you might have to erase everything. It'll put your device into like recovery mode. So you don't want to have to deal with that. So do not hold the power button while doing this. You just want to make sure your device updates normally. And then you can see I'm going to speed up the process. It actually takes a little bit longer. I think it took about five minutes using a computer. It took about three minutes to download and then five minutes to install. So you can see that it's now been installed on my iOS device. And I'm now going to check to see if I'm on 12.1.2. So I'm going to open up settings, scroll down until you see general, go ahead and tap on software update. You can see that it says I can update to 12.1.3. Now I'm personally not going to be doing that. And you want to make sure that auto updates is turned off because that will be annoying. Uh, you can do that just through the update screen. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and as always, peace.